Hello guys, this is a brief demonstration of the Facebook Libra cryptocurrency. How to get yourself started with the basic account actions. Hopefully, we'll soon delve deeper into move programming and see how we can create custom move modules which gives provision for composing smart contracts. But now we just have to get um, started with the by cloning our repository, okay? Um, so we can go into the GitHub for Libra, okay? Let's do Libra, and then um, we can just go ahead and clone the uh, the Libra repository in, into our desktop. I think that's a little bit convenient. Place to work from, okay? So actually, I have the project here already. Uh, cloned this is just to make you follow so let me just pull new terminal and um i'm going to see it into my desktop and then and 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 k dir let me just call this uh folder crypto and and see it into crypto okay and and it clone i'm going to give you that part there okay so we're cloning into the crypto folder and then um, the Libra directory, okay? So let me just cancel the, this because I already have the project, okay? So um, one thing that I need you to know, let me just see the dot dot slash Libra to my other um, project that I already cloned it, it's pretty it's pretty large trust me uh, it, it's likely over a gig is it um so which means you must have a stable connection and enough bandwidth to download that um plus when when we're going to issue uh the next command which is basically meant which is basically meant to um set up our Libra code develop, development platform uh, you, you may run into some problems okay some errors I actually encountered this I actually encountered this and had to manually in install some dependencies like the protoc so um, you can try that as well if you run into an error okay so um the first command that you're going to do is to target the dev setup file in the script folder and to do that we're just going to do dot slash um script and then we are going to target the dev setup dot sh actually there there is an underscore separating this uh the dev and the setup not just visible from the studio okay so let me just enter that okay no let me just cancel this because i already already uh install install all the dependencies here okay um if you run that command it's going to uh, install first it's going to install rust up so rust up uh, is the language that our uh, libra core is implemented in okay and then it's, it will as well install rust tool chain the cmake for managing your build process okay the protoc and the go for building protocol buffers okay okay so the next command after uh after setting up your libra code de uh, development is to uh build your libra cli client uh okay and to do to do this we are going to issue the command dot slash scripts of uh, scripts and then you're going into the C CLI folder and then we're going to target the start underscore CLI testnet dot sh okay so uh what this basically does is um it's going to connect us to a node in the test network here yeah? and then it's going to expose the the libra the libra command prompt okay with the percentage uh, symbol that actually means that we're already connected to our test network okay so um one of the commands that actually 
rec uh, recorded uh, this tutorial earlier but the Kazam studio gave me about 17 or so gigs <laughs> of, a, of a tutorial which is a, a little bit weird so I had to restart again so I already created a few uh, accounts here and just to get you started you can list accounts oh my goodness is that even the best way to go let's just do account list that's the command actually account list oh no user account so i don't have user account currently so which means i can go ahead and create one okay and to do that we're just going to do account create yeah account create that will actually create our account at index zero so the current uh, account is and the account we just created is at index zero and you can see the hex string address there here so we can uh, we can create another account account create again um so now we have uh another account so we have two accounts currently i can create another account now we have three so if you do list account account list why am i doing that again account list we have three accounts at index zero one and two okay um and we haven't uh, done any transaction yet on, on the accounts that we just created them here yeah? so which means that uh, if you query if you query the balance at, at index zero you're definitely going to have a balance of z oh my goodness I already I already did some transactions here I don't know why uh, it cleared the account but never clear the balances actually had about four or so accounts so i'll just do multiple account creates okay multiple account creates that's index three okay index four okay now we can start creating a fresh account from index five and another account from index six and index seven so we're going to work with the three last addresses that i just created uh, at index five six and seven okay so um if you query if you query our balance at index five we have a balance of zero here so a balance of zero means that uh, there's no trans not necessarily you can make transaction until you end up with the balance of zero but it technically means that there's no money in the account there's no libra coins in the account okay so um that's it by minting minting uh, libra coins at index five okay and to do, uh, to do that to add libra coins which is basically minting uh, we can do um account account mint and then we can do index five and then we are going to mint 700 libra coins okay all right mint request submitted so which means you can just query um you can just query balance yeah balance at index five yeah boom 700 libra coins okay we have 700 okay so uh the next thing that you can do is okay now you have account uh account at index five and the address of um hd and the long x x string okay and then um account as at six if you query if you query balance at index six uh we have zero which means we can start by transferring we can start by transferring uh coins into that index and to do that we're just going to try to use the transfer command okay so we're just going to say transfer okay transfer okay we're going to transfer from which account from account five to account six yeah and then you're just going to transfer about 250 libra coins okay transferring boom there we go so which means if you query balance at uh, index six 
there we go 250 libra coins fairly understandable right so um let's list our let, 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 let's list our our accounts again so we're just going to do account account list here yeah? okay so from index 0 to index 7 and then um the next uh, command that we can work with, with here is uh, querying a sequence okay so you can just query sequence at index 5 yeah should give us a sequence of one because we have done a transaction we've made a transaction on that index but if we query a sequence of um seven should be a zero yeah exactly because there's no transaction that sec uh, on that index yeah so for uh <coughs> for addresses with transactions with we're going to get a sequence of one okay all right so we have transferred um we've queried balance and then we have created an account as well what else can we do here um maybe you can oh we have also made some some coins as well so which means the next thing that you can work uh, we can do is to query uh, a transaction okay just just retrieving some some information about a transaction okay and to do to do that you can just do query okay 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 you can just do query and then transaction txn underscore account underscore and then sequence and then you can 